Hey what's up guys welcome to another video. This is a two part video series in which I will show you how I created the transmitter and receiver for this self balancing robot and in the next part I will show you how to make the robot itself. So without wasting any more time let's get started. First of all, I'm going to build the transmitter. For this you will need a puff board on which we have to solder all the components. Next to control our robot, we need two joysticks, one for going forward and one for going left and right. I salvage mine from a broken radio controller. So that's why in these joysticks we have two channels each. But we only need one, so that's why I remove one potentiometer from both of them. Next we will need this NRF24 radio module. Now to power this module, we can directly supply 5 volts from the Arduino. But surprise, this module only works with 3.3 volts. So that's why we have to use this LM1117 3.3 volt voltage regulator. But some people might say, we already have a 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino Nano. So my answer to them is, it cannot supply enough current simple and finally we will need a 9 volt battery to power the sole circuitry here is the circuit of the transmitter i take the prof board and enlarge the holes for the joysticks then i solder them in place next i solder the nrf24 module and the arduino nano i try to place them as close as possible because the shorter are the connections, the less noise there will be in our signal while transmission. Next I connect the voltage regulator with some smoothing capacitors to the radio module, as shown in the schematic. I also used this sliding switch to turn the board on and off. Now connect the MOSI and MISO wires to the Arduino, by the way these are just the names of the pins, and also the chip select and chip enable of the module. Then connect the positive and negative to the joysticks and then solder each analog outputs of the joystick potentiometer to the Arduino. And then finally connect the battery clip to the circuit. When you are done with soldering, by the way I took around 2 hours, all it was left to do is to program the Arduino Nano. But before going into the programming side, let's make the receiver first. For this you will need obviously a NRF24 module, an Arduino Nano, another 3.3V voltage regulator, two NPN transistor to be specific C8050 to drive the motors, but you can also use uh, our famous 2N2222 transistor, but try to go with C8050. Also you will need two 220 ohm resistors for the base of transistors to limit the current and a small piece of prof board to solder all the components. Here is the circuit of the receiver. Remember to use a 10 microfarad capacitor to smooth the 3.3 volts. To power this receiver I will use this two 3.7 volt lithium ion cells which I will talk about more in the next part. Ok now I have soldered everything in place and now it's time to move on to the programming part. Remember I have added all the codes in the video description. The programming part for some people might be boring. So that's why I will not go into too much detail but I can surely give you a bit of overview that in my opinion should not be boring. Hmm. In the transmitter code first I have included the libraries. Speaking of the libraries. You can download it from the link in the description or you can download it from the library manager. Next we define this unique code which should be same for the receiver. This code act as a channel for data transmission. Next we send the analog data of A0 and A1 pin. By the way these are the pins on which we have connected the output from the joysticks. After mapping it to 0 to 225 because this module, the NRF24 module, can only send 8 bits. Now let's go to the receiver code. First add all the needed libraries 
and define the unique code used in the transmitter. In the void loop, I've used the analog write function to create a PWM signal for both motors on the pin 5 and 6 of the Arduino. This PWM signal feeds into the NPN transistors to drive each motor. Now, when you increase the throttle up from the transmitter, as you can see that the width of the signal increases and hence the speed of the motor also increases. Here at this point, some people might ask, can't we need smooth DC voltage to run a motor? Yes, you are right. The motor is not a very sensitive load like an IC. It can bear large fluctuation in voltage. The motor basically consists of coils. So in coils, current cannot change instantly. As the frequency of switching is quite large, so the motor will assume as it is carrying a stable voltage and thus runs smoothly. That is why we don't need a LC filter to smooth the PWM signal. Now when you turn the joystick to the left or right position, the code starts subtracting the duty cycle of that specific motor and thus one motor gets slower than the other. So that's how our robot can turn to the left or right side. Now we have two channels, one for going forward and one for going left and right. Remember in the description you have the schematic and the Arduino code for the transmitter and receiver. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. In the next part I will show you how to make the robot and how to connect the receiver to the motors. Until then don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to this channel, it's free. And also share this video with your friends. If you have any questions about the NRF24 module or any other then you can definitely ask me in the comment section. If you like my this video then you should check my other videos as well. Thanks for watching this video, I hope to see you in the next part, so stay curious.